Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Added civilian oversight of police conduct and increased flexibility in managing police work are among key goals for a group of city councillors and the head of the Calgary's police union as they demand an update of Alberta's Police Act. The nearly 400-page report was released Tuesday, May 29, 2018. Reviewing use of force incidents by the 2,000 frontline members of the department particularly zeroing in on 21 officer-involved shootings over a six-year period. The report offered 65 recommendations in eight categories to deal with potentially dangerous situations in the future, including better understanding of mental health, an emphasis on de-escalation training and improved oversight, a similar report done by the Toronto Police Service led by a former Supreme Court of Canada judge had a lot to do with use of force and issues of tragedy where a police officer takes the life of someone in crisis or threatening the officer. That report stipulated and articulated that the goal of any police agency should be that no police officer has to take the life of another individual. Toronto implemented much of their recommendations. A lot of it had to do with training and use of force, and the number of police officer fatal shootings dropped to zero. When Calgary has two or three or five, there is something wrong. It is that police officers in every minute of every shift are relying on their training to keep themselves safe. The Alberta Federation has just completed a discussion paper on changes to the Alberta Police Act, which governs Alberta's law enforcement agencies, mirroring a call made by a number of Calgary city councillors this week. Pretty much everyone involved in the policing world agrees that the Police Act is antiquated and needs to be rewritten. There are several areas of the police act that are bogging down the system and we could do a better job with new legislation in that area. Most are from the 80s and 90s. The motion approved by council describes the police act as a decades old piece of legislation that is in significant and urgent need of modernization. In approving the motion, Council will urge the Alberta Urban Municipalities Association to request that the province commit to a comprehensive review of the Alberta Police Act and to overhaul the Act. Both ASSERT and the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner need to secure additional resources, as ASSERT won't conclude its investigations until it receives a report from the medical examiner, a document that can be delayed up to 18 months. Hopefully they will implement these changes because it would definitely be a benefit for families who go through these tragic incidents. Some of the big things that really affect the members are the ways hearings are conducted. It needs to be more independent so we get more fairness. A request within the notice is to have the act include civilian oversight of police professional conduct, which is critical to earning the public's trust. The public needs to feel like when they make a complaint, that it's looked at fairly and equitably. They also need to feel like the deck isn't stacked against them and we believe it can be achieved through true independence by somebody that has no connection to either party to make a decision on the information they are presented. Go back to when it was first implemented and it was long before the wide use of social media smartphones, the internet and a number of those things. The act will also be updated to acknowledge social media and new ways of documenting events. A review of the police act would be valuable in helping to modernize policing in Alberta. We look forward to seeing if this motion is approved by council and Alberta Justice said they will continue to work with policing partners to ensure that they have the tools and legislation needed to best support and protect our communities. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.